Pakistani police have arrested four suspects over the shooting of a 14-year-old schoolgirl. Education campaigner Malala Yousafzai was shot by the Taliban on Tuesday for promoting what they said was Western thinking. Prayers across Pakistan today have been dedicated to Malala in schools and in mosques. The 14-year-old remains in a critical condition three days after a Taliban assassin shot her in the head. Just two weeks ago, the girl who's now become the focus of worldwide attention was filmed at home, helping her younger brother with his work. But it's for her own writings she became famous. Her school flag now hangs at half-mast. The pupils have been too upset to come to study, not knowing when Malala will return here to her desk. Everywhere there's evidence of the accolade she won, defying the Taliban and campaigning for girls' education. Her biology teacher told us of the horrors of the attack, showing us the school van she was traveling in when a Taliban gunman climbed on board and singled out Malala. Her bloodstains cover the place where she sat. But she wasn't the only girl in that packed van that was injured. Kainat, whose face we've concealed for her safety, was hurt too. We were all screaming, but the man pointed his pistol at our faces and told us to be quiet. He fired at Malala and then fired some more. I could feel I was shot in the arm. The fear is still with me now. Some have felt so upset they've taken to the streets. And Malala's ordeal has had reverberations across Pakistan. Pakistan's Prime Minister has visited a hospital to see a 14-year-old girl who was shot and critically wounded by Islamic militants for demanding women's education rights. Prime Minister Raja Pervez Ashraf visited Malala Yousafzai at a military hospital in Rawalpindi on Friday. We pledge that we will not allow the future of our children to be endangered by the militant mindset. The Prime Minister told reporters after the visit that the shooting was a crime against humanity and an attack on Pakistan's national and social values. The Pakistani government, under increasing pressure to solve the case, has given conflicting accounts of the probe. The Interior Minister says the two gunmen have been identified and arrests are coming soon. The Foreign Minister told CNN 100 people were detained for questioning. A regional police chief says 35 people are in custody for questioning. Three blame Malala's shooting on a man with suspected links to the Taliban. The Taliban have already claimed they plotted the attack, but police say still no hard evidence who pulled the trigger. On Friday, the outpouring of support continued with a message from the prime minister. And we have to unite and stand together. And vigils across the country. Pakistanis, young and old, praying for Malala, a 14-year-old human rights activist whose legend grows by the day. She, a little child, gives older people hope and inspiration and sanity and brings us back from depression and dejection. Meanwhile, across Pakistan, people continue to show their support for the young peace advocate today by taking part in a national day of prayer, special prayer services, and a moment of silence held in her honor. Back in her home region of Swat, a sign that her attackers could be soon brought to justice.